Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and I have a really cool project for you today. We are going to be doing a puzzle and it's inspired by the Airbrains airbrushing system which I reviewed not too long ago, but I'm gonna show you in three minutes or less how to make this a really cool puzzle and it's sponsored by our friends at Testers. So let's get started. You're gonna need some large craft sticks or like tongue depressors and the Airbrains system for airbrushing and some masking tape. So what you see me doing here are taping together the extra large uh, tongue depressors and just giving it a nice base coat. Make sure you check out the review so you can see how I do, uh, how you can set up the system as well. So I picked this pretty blue to base coat and then I'm using one of their um, self-adhesive stencils. So make sure you're paint is all together dry and then put down your stencil and then mask off just one area of the stencil and I used in this process uh, washi tape, painters tape, post-it notes, you can use anything you want to do to mask it off. But then just spray paint in one area of the stencil and you can see I did the L in a pink and now I'm kind of pulling away the tape to reveal other areas of the stencil and I'm going to do the O in this pretty orange color and then I'm going to cover that back up after it's all dry and expose another area and so the V is going to be yellow and then lastly the E in the purple and it's so easy to change the colors with those snap lids it's amazing but when it's all dry you're going to take all of the painters tape away and you can see where I was a little impatient and so it seeped but you know what a sharpie marker helps define your edges really quickly and really easily it actually looks really nice I kind of like that effect and then I just use a little bit of the paint out of the bottle with a paintbrush to cover up my mistakes because I'm a craft test dummy not a craft test smarty so then after it's all dry you're going to mix up your sticks and flip it to the other side. Now I really want it to be like a puzzle so I make sure that there's upside, downside, everywhere to go. And so for the back I went with a more like graffiti approach. So I mixed the yellow and the orange here to kind of create this ombre effect which I really love and I let that dry and then I just use another one of their stencils to you know kind of create a little bit of pattern and make a little space in the middle where I can write the sentiment it's not puzzling I love you. So this would be a great thing to make for a grandparent or a dad or a boyfriend anything where you would want to like send something fun maybe through the mail or give a a birthday present um, but you can have fun putting it together it's pretty easy to do it's so fun to work with the airbrush system I think you'll love it so thank you so much for watching make sure you visit our sponsor and as always subscribe to our channel leave a comment if you have one down below and as always have a crafty day